Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren and today this is going to be part of our teaching, one of our Teaching Tuesday uh, episodes and since it's close to uh, Thanksgiving Christmas time, everybody's going to be cooking turkey. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to break a turkey down so you can sous vide it the easier way. We're going to break it down into white and dark meat, separate the legs and the uh, thighs, and we're going to cut the breast away from the bone. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll be right back. All right, all. I'm going to do this as a close-up since um, it's best since uh, we're doing this, breaking this thing down. I don't want to uh, have you guys trying to see it from far away. And what we're doing here is um, I took it out of the bag of the packaging. This is about a 20 pounder, right at just just a shy over 20 pounds. What we're going to do is just break this whole thing down. We're going to remove the skin and the meat completely together you know and then uh, we're gonna package it up separately and then we're gonna cook it in another video here so the first thing you want to do when you're breaking a turkey down completely is go ahead and cut you can cut the skin away here from the leg and the chest cavity so it can open up a little bit and what you want to do is kind of separate this move it around get these joints so that they kind of get exposed because all we want to do is be able to come at with our knife and cut through there instead of having to you know cut through the big parts of cartilage or anything so really just take both sides and just cut through that skin move these joints like I said just kind of move them away so we can get them exposed pop them out so that we can uh, cut through them a little bit easier. Do the same thing with the wings, just kind of from the chest here. Just kind of get it all, get it all uh, moving. If you want to, just get it so that that joint is exposed so we can get our knife through it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the wing first here. Just kind of show you if we get that popping out, you can even kind of try to dislocate it if you want to, if it makes it easier for you but um, just get it so where you can expose it so where you can actually find that joint don't really have to pop it out all the way but just so I can get right around it so you're going right at the joint I'm not going through a lot of cartilage see how easy that was toss it on my pan over here so let's give us since we're gonna work this one side I want to go ahead and work the uh, leg here like I said, you want to do the same thing. You want to kind of push that leg back to expose that joint right there. And you can just come right around with your knife. It makes it a lot easier to get this whole thing off. Just cut right through where that joint is. Cut through the skin and the meat. Fat. There you go. Now you've got your leg. And I'm going to go ahead and separate the leg and the thigh and I'm going to feel for that joint right there and do the same thing and just run my knife right through that joint. I'm going to leave the thighs in the bone and I'm going to leave the skin on when we cook these in our other video. So my daughter loves legs so I'm going to leave the leg and cook the legs and the thighs today. But what I'm going to do when I cook those I'm going to cook them in a different temperature than the breasts. So as you can see, got one leg and one thigh gone. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and try to remove as much of the breast meat as possible. And what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to start right down here where I uh, remove the wing and the thigh. And I'm just going to cut a line here. I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to kind of cut a tracer line just so I know where my end is going to be. See that? Just a, not all the way, just kind of down to the bone, just straight in, just so I know I got a little flap here that I can hang on to when I'm cutting the rest of that breast meat out that I can uh, know where I'm going to. So, all right, so I got that started. So now I'm going to go ahead and get right up here at the top. You can feel that breast bone, and I'm just going to take it right to that edge 
where that breastbone starts right on the right side or where I want to start cutting and I'm just going to start cutting it right down keeping as tight to that breastbone as possible and I'm just going to go straight down I said just kind of keep it right push it up against that bone and just kind of pull it through it's always good to start with a really sharp knife and I'm just going to keep cutting and sawing it until we get down to that flap that we cut. And it's just going to pull right away. Cut any extra skin or anything you got here. Get through that membrane. And I'm just going to cut right around that wing joint. And there you go. Well, there's one half of the breast. And I'm going to keep this just like this as well. I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to keep the skin on it and cook it just like this. We're going to cook it without the bone. We're going to make another big pot of stock with this bone when we're done today. So, all right, so you can see I cleaned that one side. Got all the meat from the breastbone. There's maybe a, just a tiny bit of meat left on here, but that's going to be good for our stock. So, got the wing cleaned out pretty good the thigh and the leg so and that's all I'm going to do on that side but there you go there's our cavity got most of the meat off that we want um, very little left on the cavity so and that's how you do it guys I mean that's how you break down a turkey it's not very hard I got my two good size breasts boneless breasts here I got um, two good legs and two bone-in thighs and that's it that's how you break down a turkey or you can do the same thing with a chicken um, but the turkey it just makes a little bit more sense when you're trying to cook them sous vide if you're not spatchcocking it um, this is probably the, the best way to get your dark meat and your white meat cooked to the exact temperature that you want them because we're going to cook the uh, dark or the white meat to a little bit less temperature like 148 sous vide for four to four hours four and a half hours and we're going to cook the dark meat to 158 so you make sure that dark meat gets done renders that fat down that we want and then we're going to throw it on the grill afterwards so there you go guys i hope that helps you out and uh, make sure you follow us on facebook on instagram Make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications, and I will see you again on my next video. Thanks for watching.